Hello Knights, it's Poseidon H2O here again, and I wanted to talk to you guys about an item that I don't think gets as much love as it should in Fallout New Vegas. The item is Ruby's Casserole, and in the last part of the video I'm going to show you a little cheat, I mean, I think it counts as a cheat, uh, where you can get some of them made for free. Uh, if you have been watching the Let's Play at all, you've probably figured out that I tend to use a lot of these things to heal over time, uh, and I've even gone out of my way a few times to go and get some more made. You've probably wondered why as well, since how it doesn't seem that great, but at the time of making this video, there's not, uh, we don't have that much survival skill, and you'll see how that plays in in a few minutes. But uh, really, I go get them because I find them really easy to get. Uh, you just All you have to do is hunt some rad scorpions, get some of their poison glands, which really is pretty easy to get if you know where to look. Those things are all over the map. And then you just, after that, you just fast travel to Prim and talk to Ruby Nash to have them made. Uh, if the item doesn't seem that great at first, which I kind of already mentioned, but uh, normally when you first pick it up, because you're such a low level when you get to Prim, it heals one hit point per second for 30 seconds. So you get 30 hit points from it at the cost of three radiation. It's uh, worse than stim packs, and it's actually even a worse healing item at the start of the game. Uh, at least for hit points per second, than Purified Water, because Purified Water heals 2 hit points per second, but it only does so for 5 seconds. So you get 10 hit points, but you can find them everywhere, they're very common, and you can easily find 3 to equal out the hit points. Uh, at this stage, the only advantage that the casserole provides is that it only has a weight of 1 pound instead of 3, like the water would or the water does, I should say. Uh, that starts to fade soon after you get some more skill. Uh, once you hit 50% survival skill, Ruby's Casserole starts healing 2 points of uh, hit points per second, still for 30 seconds, and still for only the cost of 3 rads. So, this is finally on par for hit point recovery with the purified water, but to get to that 60 hit points that you get from the casserole with the water, you need to drink six of them. That means that you need to carry around six, five extra pounds because the casserole still only weighs one pound, and you get this the 60, uh, you get the same 60 hit points. Also, if you carried around six casseroles instead of six waters, you could heal 360 hit points instead of just the 60 which is pretty impressive. But wait, there's more. Once you hit 100% survival skill, the usefulness really starts to show. Uh, the casserole now starts healing 3 hit points of damage per second, which is better than the 2 that the purified water still only heals. And so that heals a total of 90 damage in 30 seconds. Uh, if you want to heal like that with purified water, you're going to need to carry around 9 extra waters. Uh, so if you were to carry around that many casseroles, nine, uh, that would give you the ability to heal 810 hit points for the same amount of weight. See? The survival skill is useful, and Ruby's casserole isn't even close to the best item affected by this skill. The Wasteland Omelette is incredible. I can't remember the numbers right now. Maybe I'll do a video on it at some point, too. But man, it's just... It, not taking it can make the game actually quite a bit harder, especially in uh, hardcore mode. If you're playing in hardcore mode too, this casserole fills 100 starvation with no skill, 200 starvation at 50%, and 300 uh, starvation is cured at 100% skill. So it's even great to keep around for that insanity. Uh, and now, as promised, I will show you a way to get extra casseroles for free. All right, here we are in uh, Vicky and Vance Casino. Uh, this is before we appointed a new sheriff to Prim, so Ruby Nash will be in here. Normally, she just runs around town. Uh, as you can see here, we have seven Ruby's casseroles already, and uh, we'll remember that for later. And we have five Rad Scorpion poison glands. We need to drop one of those, so we because we need exactly four for this to work. Now we just gotta go find Mrs. Nash. Um, you know what? Let's use vats. Yeah. Sometimes this works pretty good, sometimes it doesn't do anything. 
And this is one of those times it's not going to do anything. Uh, let's go look around. Uh, I think that's Beagle over there. Um, where is she? She's got to be around here somewhere. Nope, there she is. Okay, so when you talk to her, you well, want to make sure good to see you. that you pick... I have a bunch of rad scorpion glands. Does sound good, don't it? That way she'll I take four glands, glands and give you back five uh, casseroles, as you can see up in the corner there. I'll put an arrow there, maybe, because I was a little, little late and let you guys know about that one. Uh, but yeah, if you have more than four, she'll use five glands to make five. And here you can see that we now have twelve, so we did, in fact, get five from her. It's a pretty good little way to get a good healing item for free. Uh, I know it's not the greatest cheat in the world, and maybe it's not a cheat at all, but it sure comes in handy when I play. If you like this video and you want to see more, make sure you click that big red subscribe button. If you like Twitter and you want to follow us on there, make sure you click that little blue button, or if you want to go to our webpage, you can click on the URL below. Also make sure to like and share this video with your friends. And feel free to leave a comment, as we love hearing from you guys, and we'll answer you back as soon as we can. Until next time, keep those shields up.